Welcome back to my channel. You're watching HQ BMW and my name is Jeff. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about what power modifications have I done to my BMW F30. As most of you know, I've done a lot of cosmetic stuff, wheels, airlift suspension, underglow, and I just talked about in my last video if you haven't seen it link up above and link in description below but I talked about the course of performance what else have I done for power modifications to my BMW F30 well one of the other ones that I have not shown yet and it was probably the first modification I ever did to my F30 it was the AFE momentum cold air intake. I'll show that to you right now. Here is the AFE Momentum cold air intake. You get this box with the tube that connects into your stock intake location. And then in here is, uh, at the time I had chosen a wet filter I am going to swap this out to a dry filter because what happens with a wet filter FYI tip for you is the oil from the wet filter can be brought through the tube and land on your mass airflow sensor now I've had this replaced before and to have this mass airflow sensor replaced from BMW is about $600. So you can buy them online at Amazon and a few other places for the $200. But if you, if I would have just stuck with the dry filter, I probably wouldn't have had this issue with the mass airflow sensor. Now you've seen the AFE momentum intake, the Corsa performance exhaust. I also have the VRSF Catalyst downpipe and MHD stage one tuned. Now, last year I had the car dynoed, which if you haven't seen it, there's a link in the description below to the video where I actually took my car and got it dynoed. I will post the dyno numbers and results right here and the car actually dynoed at 312 all-wheel horsepower with 366 all-wheel foot-pounds of torque. That was before the Catalyst downpipe. Do you think I should go and dyno it again now with the Catalyst downpipe installed? What do you guys think? Should I do that before I put in a charge pipe and a front mount intercooler and possibly go to stage two? I haven't fully decided if that's the route I wanna go because as most of you know, I'm building a show car, not a race car. All show with go would probably be a bonus. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So there's a little bit more of an insight of what I have for power modifications to my F30. Let me know if you want to see a dyno with the Catalyst downpipe before we go to stage two or put in a charge pipe and front mount intercooler. Let me know in the comments below. But like that, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay warm. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and peace.